Howdy do people, welcome back to Esports Talk, it's good to see you all again, and if you've been on Twitch recently, or even YouTube, you've probably seen at some point one of your favorite streamers playing Among Us. And last time I made a video about Among Us, I learned that it is indeed pronounced Among, not Among. Uh, so I had to learn that the hard way, I've literally been saying it my entire life, uh, so thank you guys for, uh, you know, criticizing me, I, I learned. I was, I was astray, I was, I was on the wrong path, but you guys put me back on the right track, so I appreciate you for that. It was a little hurtful though, but anyway, um, I'm sure a lot of us have seen just how much this game has blown up as of recently, and if you're like me, you might be wondering why this game has blown up as much as it has. I mean, it's a $5 game that was released all the way back in 2018, and when I say blow up, I'm not talking about the fact that it started selling way more, but more so the fact that it still has a very active viewer population on Twitch, because as of me writing this video, or writing the script for it, it was almost at about 300,000 viewers, and that was at like 9 a.m. And, and that's like not even any of the big, super big American streamers like Tim or Summit or anything like that. Not even XQC. Obviously, he's not American, but I, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, there were none of those like super big streamers like that that at least I'm aware of. Uh, but people just cannot get enough of this game and are still watching it. I believe there was one streamer, one Spanish streamer, I believe his name was Oron Play, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who had about 120,000 of those viewers, which is a freaking lot so I guess maybe I'm living under a rock because I haven't really heard of him uh, but still this game just blew up so much more than I ever thought it would have so the other day I gave this game a try for the first time and it wasn't bad you know it obviously just depends on who you're playing with um, but I would say that the $5 price point is generally pretty appropriate and I don't mean that in a bad way because it's definitely not a bad game I would just say that there's just not enough variation for me personally but in playing it I was just trying to figure out why this game had blown up so much and why it's still going so strong and uh, I'm just gonna show you guys a clip because Shroud sums it up pretty well in just a few short sentences that game was like pretty fun I didn't like particularly love it but I thought it was pretty fun. You have to have the right people. And that's kind of how I feel about it too, but I think his answer also kind of tells us why it blew up so much because he says you need to play with the right people and that's how you make it fun. So if you're playing with the right people, you're also going to be making the game fun to watch. So if you've got an Among Us lobby with just a bunch of good streamers and a bunch of good personalities, that is you playing with and watching the right people. This game just kind of needed to catch the wind of a bunch of big streamers so that way it could kind of end up to where the success it has ended up as nowadays. And that's another aspect about it too is the fact that this game can hold up to 10 people in one lobby which just makes it amazing for streamers because they can fit so many streamers into one game which already draws a huge audience you know when you when you have 10 streamers in one lobby that all have you know their own followings of their own with maybe hundreds of thousands of people even millions potentially and obviously yeah that doesn't mean that a hundred thousand people are going to be watching each streamer but still that's a lot of big streamers and that's a lot of you know viewership that you can be drawing from several different spots especially when you compare this to a game like Fall Guys where it is a free-for-all game so there's less you know overall collusion and streamers working together but also they are limited with how many people can play in the same lobby and it's not so much that they're directly playing against each other but they're playing against a bunch of other people so it doesn't feel as competitive and as direct and you know speaking of Fall Guys that game kind of fell off and Among Us kind of just walked up and took its place. Fall Guys is of course, you know, a more casual party type game with a level of competitiveness to it and then that's sort of what Among Us is too, a casual party type game with a level of competitiveness to it as we've seen before with XQC and how tilted he can get at the game, but in that aspect, this game kind of just took Fall Guys' mantle and has been holding up surprisingly strong. I also find it strange how this game was released over two years ago and is just now finally popping off. I think it was XQC and Soda Poppin who kind of started the trend and then a bunch of other big streamers started hopping on and that of course got the game to where it's at today. But just over three months ago, this game had virtually no viewership on Twitch, probably had a lot less sales as well. And now of course if you look at it where it's at today, it is at the very top of Twitch and it's doing very well. Uh, I initially couldn't find any information on it, but I just found out recently that this game is the best selling game in the world through Steam. And uh, yeah, that's after two years ago of, you know, not really having any sales and then boom, it just pops off. And uh, I guess that's what you get for making your game $5, very easy to access. And that's what you get also for uh, having a bunch of big streamers playing your game. So the developers are probably very happy right now. Um, but yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on this game? Do you think that this game is going to fall off as quickly as Fall Guys did? Or do you think it's going to stick around a bit longer? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, uh, I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy. Be safe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.